I'm rarely ever up before sunrise, but every once in a while my brain won't shut off. And this time I woke up with an idea. To head out to our new place and clear my mind as a new day began. I was searching for an open door. I was looking for a peace of mind. It's a feeling that I tend to get. Won't rest until I make it right. Couldn't stand the thought of losing her. I always love the open road and I arrive just in time to see the show. Wow is all I can say. Sometimes the world gives you exactly what you need at the exact moment that you need it. A glimmer of light started to appear on the scenery as the sun rose into the sky. And soon the rays were lighting up what once was in the shadows just minutes ago. Well, that was one of the most refreshing things for the soul that I've done in a very long time. And just look at this beautiful fog. I wasn't expecting the fog today either, but uh, that was a nice touch. I've been meaning to get those nailed back into our bridge before somebody pops a tire, so today was a good day to do that. And I'm just going to kind of roam around today and get some things done, at least try to, and we'll see what happens with the weather. It's supposed to rain quite a bit, and I still don't have a rain gauge out here, which I need to fix so that I can actually see, but I've just been judging it right now off of in our little cart over there, but that's obviously not a very accurate way of doing it. We recently purchased a UTV to help us with various tasks around the property. Today was the first chance to put it to use. So I know it's been a while since I've filmed here on this channel, but I've been so busy with my lawn stuff that it just had to take a little bit of a break, but we're gonna be getting back into this stuff very quickly here as the lawn season winds down and I kind of get moving on to projects out here. We have some exciting stuff coming up. I probably won't talk about that yet today until we have some more finalized plans, but there are some more exciting things coming up here really soon. That I think is going to be a big change for the channel and also just a big change for us in general. I noticed this stuff growing in the other day and with just the small amount of rain that we had, it's really growing now. I'm not sure what it is. It looks a lot like a ryegrass, but it has some kind of fuzzy, fuzziness to it, I guess I'd say. Now, it probably hasn't grown enough for you to see it. I will give you a close-up view, but up here we planted a cover crop for the winter, and it's starting to grow now, and you can just see a kind of a green haze across everything when you're here in person, so that's pretty exciting. I love so much about fall, but specifically I'm always chasing great light. 
This shade area is just a spot for me as the sun and the trees create light and dark contrast throughout. We're not quite in prime time leaf season, but it's getting closer day by day. Just saw a huge buck go running down the creek. But he's going the opposite direction, so he went away from me. All this stuff is thorny, so these gloves have actually been really awesome because if you don't have gloves, you will regret it quickly. There's always more and more brush to clean up, but my goal is to work on our trail and make sure the UTV can fit through without any issues. We plan to do our first overnight at the property very soon, so I worked on the top of the hill as well to clear a spot for some camping. Back today to do some more cleaning of the trails. I forgot I had not cleaned this bad boy right here. Check out these spikes. pretty amazing just how much has changed already just with the amount of leaves that have come down which is not a ton but just with the amount of leaves that have come down the, the change in the landscape and how everything looks and how it looks so much more open uh, during the middle of the summer there it was really really thick brush in a lot of spots take a moment right now to take in the sounds of what I hear while I'm working so I took out one tree before right here but it looks like that one is probably gonna be in the way as well. This is our path right here on this end down to the creek. We can go around this way. So I'm gonna try to clean this up today so we can at least get through, cut a few of these limbs here so that you can walk underneath this tree. I've been looking forward to clearing this trail down the creek for a while as it's one of my favorite spots on the property. The land on the other side is something we haven't been able to visit very often, but we look forward to exploring it more this winter. And yes, there's a lot more brush, a lot more berries, but a lot of serenity as well. So blue, blue, blue. 
Well, I'm losing daylight here fast, so I'm going to get loaded up here and get ready to go, but I could spend so much time out here. Obviously, we will be at some point, and it's going to be still really exciting to get going on so many different projects, and we have a little more time to kind of finish some things instead of a few hours here, a few hours there, but I want to thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you next time.